CMS 476 session 5 this is part 3 of our screencast but it's the third subpart where we do all the magic we're going to take our completed object role model click on database click on edit dictionary we've got warnings but we don't have any errors so we're good to go here's the various tables I'm using click and shift click to select them all drag them into our window don't need this guy anymore let's get him out of the way don't need this guy anymore let's get him out of the way move our object our entity relationship diagram up and give ourselves some room it's going to take a little bit to pull all this into line everything's selected so I guess when I move one I better unselect everybody and then select them one at a time just dragging and dropping here somewhere way down here must be some more tables that I'll move up the model okay let's okay you don't want to move there we go so we've got puppies kennels a horrible name of a table puppy nose trick skill level but that's the table that holds information about which puppy knows which trick you can see that uh, uh, Visio modeler has a pretty strange way of naming things uh, but we've got the four basic tables that we had when we did a manual creation of things if you don't like their names double click and there's this wonderful sync names when typing I add a space and it simplifies it to kennel code so that it matches kennel code over here that was a let's sync names when typing get everybody to say kennel code kennel locations plenty good by me you can manually edit these things as well our puppy name what a horrible field name let's change that to puppy name all the way around puppy number see what it's doing is taking a piece of the table name and putting it together with the field name makes for some really bizarre uh, field names it does let you have again every field name is is uh, Add a space here and it sinks nicely um, it does give you unique field names so that you never have to worry about doing the old table name dot field name business in access or for that matter Oracle or any other SQL database you might have so there we have it we've got it a little bit tidied up I'm going to do a file save. Would I like to migrate the changes back to the source model? I'm going to say no for the moment because that would have sent all these nomenclatural changes we just made back to our object model. But it should allow us here shortly. Okay, I'll say yes goes back but what I mostly want 
is to make sure I've saved things. And I guess it is daisyhill2008.imd, which is indeed the entity relationship diagram. Our IMO file is the object role model. So this is our critter. Oh, I'll tidy up this one also. Puppy, puppy number. That looks pretty good. That's a nice solid ER diagram. I'll put this guy to bed now. And when we continue with the fourth part of tonight's podcast, we'll be looking at Argo UML building a class diagram that captures this sort of thing as well.